This morning, California lawmakers considering a new bill forcing retailers to limit self-checkout lanes in an effort to curb theft and protect jobs. When worker safety is at risk and people lose their jobs, we in the state legislature must act and we must act now. According to the bill, grocery and retail stores would be required to provide at least one cashier run station. Self checkouts would be limited to 10 items or less and a human worker would be required to monitor no more than two lanes each. Stores using AI at checkout would need a full assessment before deploying that technology. Lawmakers and retailers say curbing theft is a priority, with one recent survey estimating more than 20 million Americans have stolen from a self-checkout kiosk and more than 8 million planning to do it again. 69% of consumers also say it's easier to steal from a self-checkout kiosk than a cashier. This comes as major retailers have already been rethinking how to use self-checkout in stores. Most recently, Target is limiting self-checkout to 10 items or less. The line goes quicker, but also I feel like it's not very convenient for some people that take, you know, are buying a lot of stuff. While other major retailers like Walmart and Costco experimenting with limiting self-checkout and Dollar General removing self-checkout altogether from hundreds of its stores. So it's looking like a bunch of businesses are having issues when it comes to this self-checkout process. Uh, customers have complained about long lines. Uh, and in some cases, businesses have, are, are shutting down their self-checkout process altogether. Now, one business in particular is Target, right? People have complained. Uh, people are not um, happy with the, with the shopping experience at that store. Targets in New York City are now putting an end to self-checkout. I went to Target last night and I was wondering why the line was so long. Why were people so angry? And then when it was time to check out, I realized that um, there were more cashiers than I've ever seen at Target. Apparently, this is going to slowly roll out to other Targets and other stores, too. I guess we say goodbye to self-checkout. My current op right now is Target and their closure of self-checkout. This morning, I went to Target, right? And I was like, why is the checkout line wrapping around the store? Like, what's going on? Only to walk closer and notice that the self-checkout was closed and they only had, like, two people ringing up, like, 50 people moving slow as ever and it's just like i get that they're trying to stop like theft or whatever but it's just like these people don't know how to check nobody out and it's moving slow as hell and you only got you have like 20 registers but then you only got two people on the registers and all these people to check out it don't make no sense I, we need to change it i don't know how we're going to stop the theft but that's not the solution so there you can see how dissatisfied some customers are when it comes to the whole self-checkout process. Now, for me personally, I mean, I love the self-checkout process. Like, I don't, I, when I go shopping, I don't buy a lot of things. Um, I get what I need. I get the things that I need and I'm in and out. It's very quick um, I'm in there. Um, and usually the experience is pretty good. Like, if there's anything that, that probably bothers me about the self-checkout process, that sometimes people take so damn long. I'm like, yo, what are you getting and why are you taking so long? Um, sometimes this, the machines have some issues, but usually nine times out of ten, my, my experience experience with, with self-checkout process is pretty good. Now I know for a lot of people, um, you know, the fact that they're high, they, you know, they, they get rid of self-checkout um, and they're putting more people on the register. I know for some people, they may be like, you know, this is a good thing because, you know, we want people having jobs and, and, and sure. But, you know, let's be, regardless of whether you agree with it or not, like business, businesses are going to do whatever they can to save money. And, and if, if it's saving them money, then they're going to do it. But however, when it's costing them more money than they're saving, then, uh, business is going to act accordingly. And one issue that a lot of these uh, businesses are seeing when it comes to their self checkout process is that there's a lot of theft, right? People, it's a, you know, we, let's be honest, like it's very easy if you wanted to to steal um, during the self checkout process, right? You can just go in there and, and act like you're putting a certain amount of items in and then just walk out. And a lot of companies are seeing that that to be the case. And when, when companies are seeing that it's costing them more money than it's saving them, because obviously the reason why they have the self checkout process is because, you know, they're, 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 they're obviously labor costs so much. So they're trying to replace, you know, the, the, the actual person with, with a machine. It's going to hopefully save them money in the long run. Probably costs a lot of money to implement, but in the long run, it should save them money. But if, if it's costing them more money to do the theft, then they're going to act accordingly. And that's what they're doing. And the reason and that's why you see a lot of these these, these companies shutting down their self checkout uh, because of theft. Right. They're putting more people at the registers and you see more people complaining um, about the fact that, you know, these lines are very long and, and like what happened to the self checkout. So it obviously is ruining the customer experience all because of theft. Now, because of this, lawmakers are trying to come up with um, a bill, specifically in California, 
um, where they're going to, you know, limit, you know, they, uh, so they claim they're going to protect the workers and make sure it's going to stop theft, right, in, using this bill. When in reality, what they should be doing is, is making sure these criminals, when they commit crimes, that they're, that they're held accountable, right? That because of their soft on crime policies, it's, it's easy to just want to steal. And if you're not going to, you know, if, if people are going to just go in there and steal what they want and not have to worry about the consequences, then they're going to continue to do that. So instead of coming up, coming up with a bill where all it's going to do is just going to make it hard for that business to run its business, um, then why don't you just actually do what you're, you're supposed to do, which is making sure if you commit a crime, you're held accountable. Arrest these people, throw them in jail, and make sure they're held accountable. But if you're not going to do that, it's just going to make the process harder. So one bill that they're trying to do in California, uh, they, they, they're trying to find a way to, to curb uh, the theft that's going on in a lot of these stores. Out our state throughout California. Sponsors say it'll increase worker safety and limit retail theft, but opponents contend it won't accomplish either. Here's NBC Bay Area's Ian Cole with how it could change your shopping experience. The self-checkout lanes at grocery and retail drug stores would look a little different. Senate Bill 1446 allows those stores to continue offering self-checkout if all these conditions are met. Checkouts are limited to 10 items or less. At least one staff checkout lane is available. Customers are prohibited from purchasing certain products that require an ID, like alcohol and tobacco, but also items behind locked cabinets. And one employee can only monitor up to two self-service stations. So, all right, so this is how it's going to work, right? These are the items that they need. Like, if you're a business that, that wants to run self-checkout, you have to check... Uh, all of these items, right? You got to make sure you have all of these um, these things in order to have the self checkout. So obviously, checkout limits to ten items or less. All right, I'm pretty sure they can do that. Um, manual checkouts, one manual checkout station. Okay, that's that that shouldn't be an issue. Uh, certain items are prohibited uh, when you're doing it. That's fine. Two stations per employee. I think okay, that's going to be an issue. Now imagine this: like you you ever go to Target or any other store, Whole Foods, and they have like eight checkout stations. So that means you need no more than one person can check out can be stationed for for two um, self checkouts. So if you have eight self checkouts, that's going to be four people. Now that's that's just dumb. Like why would you want to do that? Like that makes that first of all, that's going to cost the, the company way more money. Like it's not even worth it. it. Gets to a point where you say, okay, I need one person per two checkout stations. So if I got eight, then that means I need four people. Now, if you ever gone to these stores, it's usually like one person to for for these like stations. It'd be like depending on where you go, it could be anywhere from like four to eight stations, uh, self checkout um stations, and it's usually that just just one person checking it. But if you gotta do one per two self checkout, that's that that's just gonna cost more. It's, it's redundant. Like, why would you want to do that? Like, for businesses, that's not even gonna make sense um, financially. So I think for a lot of companies, that's gonna be an issue if this bill passes. Um, yeah, I can see that being an issue. Not, and for me personally, if I was a business, that I mean, that wouldn't make any sense. I'm like, that's just going to cost me more money. I might as well just have someone at the register and just get rid of self-checkout altogether. Maybe that's their intention for whatever it is. I mean, that's what that, that's the law. That, that's the bill that they're trying to implement. Supporters say it would reduce retail theft and make working conditions safer. This act will protect workers and the public by ensuring safe staffing levels at grocery and drug stores uh, and regulating self-checkout machines in a way that's being smart on crime. Letizia Costa manages multiple self-checkouts at a Lucky's in Pinole. I have also observed customers who just walk through the self-checkout area when there's no workers and they walk out with their items. Costa joined the state senator for a virtual press conference this morning. She says in February she saw three women stealing items, so she called 911. But then they turned around and attacked her. And because of this incident, I am terrified to report any incidents of theft. The proposed law would also require employees monitoring self-checkout to be solely focused on that task and not be asked to do anything else. The California Retailers Association is not on board. Its CEO says the bill doesn't do enough to protect employees and customers. Instead, we're supporting a package of bills that really is a comprehensive approach to address the, e the issue of retail theft. It includes going after and providing consequences to serial shoplifters. It goes after boosters who are selling stolen goods. San Jose shoppers we talked to like the idea of tweaking self-check aisles. It's good because it's going to protect Target and the employees and also the people. I myself think it's a great idea because sometimes I just want to go in and out. And when people have more than 10 items, it just makes it that much longer. 
1446 is now in the Appropriations Committee in Sacramento before it can head to the Senate floor. Ian Cole, NBC Bay Area News. So yeah, so hopefully, you know, hopefully that bill doesn't pass, right? Because we all know that that's not going to help stop theft, right? Like, <laughs> that's not going to help stop theft. The fact that you have, you know, the, these bills where, you know, they need to check the box on the all these items in order to, to make sure they have self-checkout for a business. Like, it's not going to help. People are going to find ways to steal, right? That's, that's the thing. People will always find ways to steal. What you need to do, you need to make sure you held these criminals accountable, Right, you ca you're caught stealing. You call the cops and you handle it accordingly. But because these, these these criminals know that they don't have to worry about it, they know they can steal items without repercussion. Then they're gonna keep doing it, and obviously that's gonna be a loss to the customer. And the thing is, you could probably be, you could look at this and say, all right, I guess to a point where these. E these businesses are going to do a couple of things, right? Like I said, they could either, obviously, the, the, to make sure they make up for the loss, they're just going to increase the prices of the goods and, that they're selling, right? That's going to just obviously make it more expensive for the customer, right? Or if it gets to a point where they're not making money, worst case scenario, they're going to shut down. They're going to close the business and, and go somewhere and, and leave, right? And that's not going to be good for the community. And you see that happen in like certain places like California where uh, Safeway had to shut down, which is a grocery store. Now, a, a, a grocery store shutting down the community, that's not good for the community because now they have to go travel a long way just to get their groceries. And that's not good. So you have to make sure instead of trying to create bills where, oh, it, 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 you, you're, you're claiming it's going to help employees and help stop theft, what you need to do is make sure that anybody that's caught stealing you you hold them accountable right so you make sure you you, you tell them that, that you you let them know that stealing is not good you just don't let you know, you don't become soft on crime and let them know that hey if they steal something you know they'll probably get sent they'll get probably get locked up and they'll be right out within a couple of hours you need to make sure that yeah hey, they're held accountable and you you, you handle that accordingly right you got to be tough on crime but you know if, if criminals think they can just, just steal they're going to continue to do that and it's just going to be a loss for the company and eventually it gets to a point where the company says you know what we're not making money. We're gonna to have to shut this thing down. We're gonna close the business, and that's just gonna be bad for the community, right? And we don't, and that's not what you want. Um, so yeah, so I, I mean, hopefully this bill doesn't pass, and and you know these they they use some common sense laws where you know what we hold people accountable like they're supposed to be doing. So. So yeah, those are my thoughts. I'm interested to hear your thoughts. Make sure to leave a comment down below. Hit the like button and share. Uh, and if you haven't done so already, make sure to subscribe. All right, so you guys take care. Have a good one. Later.